The cell spends most of its time in interphase, being the first and longest stage of the cell cycle. This stage involves the cell undergoing growth and preparation for mitosis. During this phase, the cell carries out functions necessary for its survival, producing proteins for its life purpose. During the middle portion of this phase, DNA replication occurs, controlled by enzymes to prepare for mitosis, resulting in the cell temporarily having two sets of DNA. The cell then undergoes continued growth and preparation with the DNA in a loosely coiled form. Proteins continue to be made, such as those in preparation for cytokinesis. Once the cell is ready to divide, the next stage of the cycle, mitosis, takes place in four phases. During early prophase, duplicated DNA molecules coil up into chromatids, which are then joined together by a centromere to form a chromosome. In animal cells, centrioles move to the opposite ends of the cell, managing tube-like structures made of protein known as spindle fibers. The nucleolus begins to disappear. Late prophase then occurs when the spindle fibers complete forming and attach to chromosomes at their centromeres. The nuclear membrane by now disappears. Metaphase then takes place when the spindle fibers contract to pull the chromosomes to the equator of the cell. The cell then undergoes anaphase, in which the continued contraction of the spindle fibers pull the chromosomes apart at the centromere, forming sister chromatids that are pulled towards the opposite poles of the cell. Each sister chromatid is now considered to be a chromosome. During the final stage of mitosis, telophase, the spindle fibers, having served its purpose, begin to disappear. A nuclear membrane forms around each set of chromosomes, and nucleoli appear resulting in two distinct nuclei. The cell is now ready to divide. During the final stage of the cell cycle, cytokinesis occurs. This process separates the nuclei and the contents of the parent cell to produce two genetically identical daughter cells. This can occur through the pinching of animal cells as demonstrated in this video, or through the formation of a cell plate containing materials to form a new cell wall and membrane, in the case of plant cells. Two successfully created daughter cells then begin to carry out interphase, thereby restarting the cell cycle.